Introduction to JavaScript. Welcome back. In the last lesson, we learned how to use variables to make lots of changes all at once. This is great if you want to keep everything in a line, but if we want a little bit more variety in our pictures, can variables still help us? Of course, but they're going to need a little bit of help from operators. For our purposes today, operators are the basic mathematical operators that you probably learned in elementary school. For example, addition. If we ask the computer what 2 plus 2 is, it will give us 4. We also have subtraction, multiplication, division, and the remainder. If you're not sure what the remainder operator is, go ahead and watch the supplementary video that I've created about it. The concept of operators can get pretty powerful when you combine it with variables. Let's say we set this variable x as 5. Then, like we saw last time, we can ask the computer what x is, but we can also ask it what 3 more than x is. There are other ways to combine these two concepts, but we know enough for now to do what we saw at the beginning of the episode. Here we have two circles on the canvas, but their positions are still independent of each other. Let's go ahead and link them up so that when one moves, the other does as well. First, we put the x and y values from the first circle into variables. Now, once we finish with that, we'll have to adapt those x and y variables to be used in the second circle. The second circle's x value is 200, which is 100 more than the first circle's x value. Similarly, with the y, it is 150, which is 50 more than the first circle's y value. If we hit run, we'll see that they're still staying in the same place. Now that they're connected, we can change the x value and see that it changes both circles. We can do the same with the y value. Your assignment for today is to make some shapes with the circles. I'm going to give you this JS Fiddle link which has the V already made. I'd like you to make an L and an A shape. And that's the end of Module 1. You learned a lot in a short amount of time. Good job! Next module, we're going to be reviewing what we learned in this module and learning one new concept. Functions. I'll see you then.